Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and testing a Wemius P62. This is a nice looking projector. It looks nice and small and compact. The projector even comes with its own backpack, very nice. Should be great for travel. Chuck this on your back if you're renting a hotel room or going away on holiday. Take this with you and you can watch movies on the big screen. The backpack has a nice design. Doesn't look out of place, looks very business like. So you won't look silly carrying this around. The quality of the backpack alone looks very nice, very good. Nice carry handle to carry if you don't want to pull it on your back. The arm straps are nice and thick for added comfort. I'm very impressed that Wemi has actually included this backpack. Because this backpack alone will cost you 20 or 30 pounds. So it's great that Wemi has included this in the price. So let's open this up and see what's inside. We've got a nice little screwdriver in there, we've got a lens cloth and we've got some dust swabs. We've got a little instruction booklet. Here is a much bigger user manual. This has lots of detailed information inside in multiple languages. The manual is well written from Wemius, making the projector easier to set up. Got a Q&A sheet, so if you had any questions, we may have answered them for you on here. This is your figure of eight power cable. It's a decent length, which is great. Then we have your AV cable. And then we have your HDMI cable, which is a nice length. With nice plastic end caps for protection. Then this is the remote. can see a nice design it takes two AAA batteries buttons are in a nice place on this controller this is your power on this is your home this is your source button these are your directional arrows and your OK button this is your back button. This is picture menu. This is your keystone button. Then we have your volume keys. And these are your autofocus buttons. And lastly, this is your mute button. And this is the projector that sits in there nice and snug. They designed this bag perfectly.
And this is the bag with nothing inside. As you can see, compartment for the projector and all the cables. It's excellent. Well designed. So let's take this out of the bag and see what it looks like. It's nice and light. Nice, small and compact. Very nice design. Now this projector has some fantastic features. It's native 1080p resolution. We've got 12 watt stereo speakers on the back. And this projector supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. So we've got great connectivity. And take the lens cap off, show the element. Decent size. And we've got some thick foam there so you don't scratch the lens, which is great. This is your autofocus camera. So when you power on the projector for the first time, it will autofocus on its own and it will auto keystone, saving you the trouble for manually doing it, which is nice. Then we have eight buttons on the top here. This is your back button. This is your up and down. These are your side to side arrows. This is your source button. And this is your power button. And lastly, that's your OK button. These are your 12 watt stereo speakers. Then we have your two USB ports. And the two HDMI's. Got your AV port and your headphone jack. And this is your threaded foot. You undo this to raise and lower the projector. It screws out a lot further than this gives you some nice height and projecting the image onto the wall. Now this little hole here, this is for mounting it on a tripod. We have four rubber feet here to stop the projector from slipping on the surface. It gives you some nice grip. Now to clean the LCD, you need to remove this sticker, so peel it back Remove the door and then stick your lens swab in to clean the dust. But as you can see, it's a nice looking projector. It's very small, very compact. This side is your heat sink. This is where it kicks all the hot air out. And this is your filter. You need to remove the door and then blow the dust out and then pop it back. And this is your power input. So as you can see, it's a very sleek looking projector. Now we're going to power this thing up. I'm going to get my decibel meter out and we're going to see how loud the fan is. Now that I have it all plugged in, let's power it up and get testing. So this is how loud the fan is. Getting readings of around 60 decibels if we put the meter right up close. If you move back a bit, it drops to around 45 decibels. So I hope this noise level test was helpful. Now I'm going to turn this projector back off and then I'm going to fire it back up so you can see how long it takes to get to the operating system. So this is my 80 inch projector screen. I'm going to turn out the lights 
and turn the projector on. So I wrapped the main user interface and it took around 24 seconds. Now the projector will auto focus and auto keystone. And there we go, it's done that and the image is nice and sharp. The image is bright and we have even illumination across the whole frame, which is superb. Now I have to correct this screen a little because it's over the edges and the keystone slightly out. So I'll do that in a minute. If you mount your projector on the ceiling you have to go into your projection settings and change it accordingly. Now we can change it from front desktop, rear desktop, front ceiling and rear ceiling. Then we have your automatic keystone setting if you have this on. When you power the projector up, it will auto keystone. Or when you press the keystone button. Wemia states that we have a 20 degree horizontal and vertical keystone. So I'll show you this now. So if you have your projector off at the side, or your walls are not perfectly straight, then this is how you fix it. All four corners are exactly the same degree. Now the image looks best when the green circle is perfectly round. As you can see all the corners were exactly the same. Then we have your manual focus where you can do it manually and your digital zoom where we can increase or decrease the image by 50%. So we take it to the smallest and we bring the image back. So we go to 100 so you can see it goes right over my 80 inch screen. Then we can make fine adjustments by bringing it down in 1% increments. Just like that, the perfect fit. And if we go up to the cog, you go to your Bluetooth settings. This is where you can turn the Bluetooth on and scan for all the devices. As you can see it's picked up a few Bluetooth devices. So you just come into these settings if you want to connect a Bluetooth headset or a soundbar. Then we have your system update. You can do an online update or you can update through USB. Or you can even factory reset if you mess up the settings at any time. Then we have your other settings. This is where you can select the boot source. So when you power the projector on, it, you can select this to go to HDMI 1, HDMI 2 or AV. Then we have your power on options. If you have this set to standby, when you switch the plug off at the wall and you turn it back on, it will enter standby. If you have it on direct and you switch it off at the wall and then you turn it back on, the projector will automatically come on without pressing the power button. And as you can see we have lots of language options which is great. Then we have shut down lens reset. Now if you have this set to on, the lens will pull back and reset into its original position. Which makes it easier to stick the lens cap on. And 
and then we have your wireless settings as you can see we have Wi-Fi 6 in this projector and the range on it is excellent picking up all these wireless devices and lastly we have your about setting this is where you can check the software version of the projector and your MAC address and we can also turn the key sounds on or off so now we're going to test the projector with some video I'm going to switch over now to my Google Chromecast I'm going to fire up YouTube and we're going to watch some 4K video I'm going to have the sound coming out of the projector so you can see what sound it produces and then I'm going to switch over to my Bluetooth speakers So this is the sound coming straight out of the projector. As you can hear, they can be clearly heard. This P62 projector puts out a lovely image. It's nice and sharp. Contrast ratio is fantastic and it produces some lovely colours. The sound is still coming out of the projector, so I'll turn it down now. And now I've switched over to Bluetooth sound. So this is coming out my Bluetooth speakers. Wow, look at the colors it puts out. How vibrant them blues and reds are really produces some lovely colours and the sharpness on this projector is bang on now my phone is struggling because it's on auto ISO but as you can see it's still picking up some amazing detail obviously the images look far better in real life than recording this whole video on my phone But look at the colour accuracy on those burgers, it really does a great job, considering this is a budget projector, really puts out a lot of detail. I'm actually astounded by the image quality that this projector puts out. Images are sharp, the brightness level is very good and the lighting looks even across the whole frame. The colour is spot on, I can't fault the colour, produces lovely colour. I know colours can be subjective and look different to other people, but if you don't like the colour you can always go into the picture menu settings and change the colours to how you like them. It also handles motion very well. As you can see, no stutters or glitches. Motion is smooth. I know these ain't fast moving images, but when you do watch a movie, the projector keeps up with the action. And look at all that detail in the water. This projector really is fantastic. You can see each and every droplet.
I mean, look at all that colour and that detail in the water. For a budget projector, you really, really can't fault it. I'm thoroughly impressed. I really am. I can't wait to see what other projectors that Weemie has put out. So these are your picture menu settings. We have standard, vivid, soft, PC mode, and user. Now we can go into any of these presets and change the brightness level, the contrast, the sharpness and the colour temperature. Then we also have sound settings. Now this controls the sound that the speaker puts out in the projector. So it changes the speaker's sound in the projector. It doesn't change your Bluetooth sound. If you've got the sound coming from your Bluetooth headphones or the Bluetooth speaker, it doesn't change that sound. So that pretty much covers this projector. I've been really impressed with the colours, the sharpness, the brightness levels, the overall performance. It's definitely exceeded my expectations and it's definitely worth the money. And if you get this projector and you have any problems, just reach out to Weemius. They have fantastic customer service. They normally reply within 24 hours and they always try their best to resolve any issues that you might have. Now I'll leave you with this last bit of footage. If you have any questions for me about the projector, put it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer each and every one of you. As I love the interaction on my channel, I'm going to be testing a lot of projectors and a lot of gadgets and electronics and technology. I'm going to be unboxing things on a weekly basis and doing product reviews. I'm also going to be giving away a lot of products on this channel, so I'm definitely worth subscribing to. And as my subscriber base is low, you've definitely got more chance of winning the products that I give away. I will let you know in the video what products I give away, but all you need to do is like, subscribe and comment down below and I will pick a name at random and send your product out to you. So I hope you liked this video. And it was helpful to you. Like I said, if you have any comments, put them down below and I'll get back to you. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope I see you again in another video.